Hello everyone, this is Trying to Live with my 100 subscriber special. Now, 100 subscribers may not seem much to you, but to me, every single one of them are awesome. Anyways, uh, for the fact that uh, most of my videos are about a game that no one's really heard of, uh, I think 100 is not too bad, and I look forward to... Uh, 200 and more but uh, this is my 100 subscriber special and so as a result I thought I'd do something cool and we are going to fly past the Sun now you may think that the Sun doesn't exist that it's just a light source in the sky and you are okay you're mostly right it's actually a light source uh, in the sky but it's not attached to anything and you can in fact fly past it. And so in this video, uh, I have constructed a pretty sizable ship. Uh, it's nothing special. It's got a few uh, liquid boosts to it. It's got a couple SASs to it. Kind of started off with some solid rockets. And uh, basically, I'm just trying to get there as fast as possible. There's no return trip uh, planned for this, even though I have... Um, uh, a parachute attached. It's like, hey. Um, but a uh, couple things I just want to talk to you about on this uh, episode is not so much uh, a how to play, um, but I want to discuss the uh, beta. I guess it's a beta, maybe it's an alpha, whatever. The the version point eleven that just dropped uh, just a few hours ago, and it's pretty exciting because the biggest two things that they added was the advanced. SAS and the RCS system. Now, if you haven't seen my video where I bump into some space debris, uh, kind of, uh, kind of showing what it would be like to try to dock with a satellite, uh, they are amazing. Especially if you've seen the one before that, because I did one before um, where I kind of try to bump into things and I miss like 95% of the time, uh, and then by the time you miss, you're so far you know, out of alignment with everything that it just doesn't make sense to keep going. Well, in this case, uh, these RCS units, if you use them correctly, you can basically maneuver any way you want. And as you get better and have more patience, uh, it's going to be absolutely spectacular. And I look forward to all sorts of cool things. Everybody's looking forward to planets. Frankly, I'm not so excited about planets. You know, oh, look, another planet. What I'm really cool uh, where, excuse me, I should say what I think would be really cool, what I'm really excited about uh, would be um, to be able to uh, have space uh, stuff like uh, a space station to have satellites, to do different things with those satellites, to have debris. Uh, like I think it would be the coolest thing ever to shoot up or, or send up a rocket and then have it destroyed by a piece of other rocket that I had left up in a previous mission. Uh, so that's kind of things that I'm looking forward to. And the RCS units really make me excited because I know this stuff is more and more feasible. Like before it was kind of like, okay, I guess if you kind of did like a computer program where you wrote all this code out and you timed everything perfectly, maybe you could sort of fit. No, no, now you can totally do it manual. If you make a mistake, you can just kind of back yourself up. It's really fun. Um, and so it's it's definitely really cool. Also, if you use any of the experimental builds, you've probably tried using the advanced SAS unit, and they're pretty oh lame -o. Well, in the in the newest version, uh, the the actual release, um, the S the advanced SAS unit is pretty sweet because what it does is it doesn't just you know kind of nudge your ship around; it actually takes control of your ship and will point it in the correct direction. It's got a it's got a couple weird flaws to it, like it almost seems like. Um, if you spin your ship too much, it'll actually um, try to unspin it. If that makes any sense, like uh, kind of like kind of like a yo-yo. Like if you spin four times to the left, it kind of tries to unspin it four times to the right. But it's still really cool. It's really powerful. Um, one thing you got to be careful though is if you turn your RCS units on, it'll burn through your RCS units so fast. I was like, hey, this thing's way more more agile now. You know, it's it's keeping my ship up before. Uh, but or, or up battery before it was uh, it would kind of lean to the side and kind of push itself over and then lean to the other side and push itself back up. Uh, but now it's like 
you just see all these puffs coming out of all sides at the same time and you're like oh wow i'm using like all my rcs fluid and or my uh, my uh, my fuel for it and it's like okay well that's maybe i should turn that off but it doesn't matter because it's so accurate and so powerful that if you have like an average size rocket uh your the advanced sas will just keep it rock solid so the sas uh, is still good um, still really useful. It's going to be, you know, when, you, when you're actually paying for things and you're concerned about weight, the SAS is going to be better than the advanced SAS. But when you've got a big rocket that you need to, to, to work well for you, to go up good, to, to fly well, that's going to be amazing. Uh, so anyways, this is, um, this is kind of the, uh, a thing that I saw on the forums. A guy posted that, you know, if you... Uh, if you fly far enough at, at toward the sun, you can actually fly past it, and it's like, ah, that's not true. You don't know how things work. And in reality, uh, it's sort of this kind of like light source in the sky that creates a, a weird effect is basically what it is. And so if you can see the light source, you can see the effect. But if the light source disappears by a tiny bit, then the effect goes away. Anyways, uh, we are a ridiculously long distance away uh, from the planet, from, from Kerbals, I guess, or Kerth or whatever. Uh, that would be, um, I believe that's 9 billion uh, meters away. 9 billion. That's like if you took every single person on Earth and you had them all stand on each other's heads. Um, that's about how far away it would be. That seems really weird. I'd hate to be the guy on the bottom. Either way... Um, here you can kind of see the, p the, 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 the light source, the sun, quote, quote, is starting to, to drift by. Um, it passes by totally at about 15 billion, or when you uh, see the 15, or the first two numbers are 15 um, up there, 15 billion meters, um, and you just kind of drift by. And it's not really anything exciting. If you uh, look at the map, uh, the, the orbital map, you can't actually see it. Um, if you look at... Um, you know, look toward back towards the the Earth. You can't see it, um, but it's this really cool thing that you can try out. Uh, I built a huge rocket. Um, you can actually make a round trip if you do it right. Um, all you just have to do is just go slower, and it takes a lot longer. But for the sake of this video, I went there as fast as I can, and so four thousand meters per second is pretty pretty stinking fast. Um, but anyways, um, so I'm really excited about this new version. Uh, I really. I really am looking forward not so much for li things like gameplay things like I want to go orbit a planet and things like that. I'm really looking for like a big picture type thing where I can actually have, you know, missions where, you know, I have, they have to put up a satellite in a p specific orbit. I have to, you know, be able to manage my finances. You know, if a rocket explodes, then whatever parts, price of the parts, then I'm out that money and maybe I have to take loans or whatnot. The whole picture really is exciting to me, not just like, oh, let's put up a rocket. Um, but maintaining a whole program is really exciting to me. Um, but anyways, uh, I just want to say thanks to everybody who subscribed, and I'm going to continue to make videos as I see cool things to do. Uh, I'm working on a, a, con a concept um, where um, basically everything that is kind of advanced and you may not know about um, I'm gonna show off some of the some of the really kind of tricky things. Like there's some fuel interesting or interesting fuel things, um, and also I'm considering. Uh, you guys comment a lot how I never ever in these videos um, use the add-ons or the mods, um, but uh, I'm actually considering a series where I review all of the um, like like pick a pick a add-on a week and I kind of review it and talk about it. How you know and just kind of say how I like it, what I like about it, what I don't like about it. Um, I think there's some really cool ones out there. Some of them I'm just like, yeah, that's that's no fun at all. Anyways, um, and so I just want to say thanks to everybody who subscribed and uh, tell me what you want to see in the future. I'm going to go ahead and leave the video to keep playing. Um, but next time, uh, we'll see what other cool things we can do and what we can get ourselves into.